My name is Natalie Jones. I am a senior at New Tech Odessa. I'm part of the CTE program housed at New Tech Odessa. Uh, I am doing lesson planning and delivery, which is part of the humanities. Um, so for lesson planning and delivery, I have a teaching board, which is going over the book Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz Ryan. I do hope I said that correctly. And it is for fifth grade. Um, so when teaching, first thing I would do, start with the first step. So I have a Venn diagram and I would take the uh, pieces from the little compare and contrast, contrast envelope up there. And so I would ask, uh, they drove a car in America. And the answer I'm looking for is Miguel. So the student or myself would pin this in the Miguel spot. Uh, the next question I would ask, they grew up wealthy, so who, who was that? And the answer I expect is Esperanza. So I would pin this in this position for Esperanza. The last question I'll ask for the purpose of this demonstration is they hear the heartbeat of the valley. Um, after reading the book, the, the answer I expect from the students would be both Esperanza and Miguel heard the heartbeat. So this answer would go here in the central column. After completing the Venn diagram, the students would then move on to the quick write activity and the prompt asked of them is, I'm going to give you five minutes to, to write how you feel about Esperanza as, ex as a person, explain why. Now I do have an example a work example from a student and this student said Esperanza as a person I think at first she was a bit spoiled as a child but once she just saw but once she just saw she valued most she changed and became the world around her and understood real struggles now that was a good example from this student so after this after the five minutes are up the students would then move on to the next activity which is the plot diagram now again, there's a little envelope down here that says plot diagram where they can find all the answers. I'm going to take just a couple to give an example. So the first one is Esperanza celebrates her birthday. Now the students, the answer I expect from the students would be this is the resolution. So they would put this in the position at the resolution. The next question I would ask, Esperanza's papa, papa is killed by bandits. Now, the answer expected from the students is this is the exposition. So again, this answer goes at the point of the exposition. The final question I'm going to ask for this demonstration, Miguel leaves and take Esperanza's money with him. The expected answer is this is the climax. So this goes at, at the climax point. After they've completed the plot diagram, they would then continue on to station the, the fourth spot which is a KWL. And so I have a spinner for the students. They would spin the spinner and whichever one it landed on, they would then fill out that. And so they're, they're either going to do something they knew, something they learned, and something they wanted to know. And there are several options on this. They're either going to write two things uh, from the KWL or it's three things from the KWL, or they have the ch choice, if they land on it, to pick one of the three topics and write two or three things about it. And this does go on to the board. Um, I do have an example from one of the students, the same student from the quick write. She landed on a no, and she said she knew that her pa died by bandits, and she also knew that Miguel and Esperanza's families went to America. Um, considering this can either be done with me and the class, or this is a station to be done um, with just a few students. Now the number of students can differ. And so with that, I need to have an assessment from this activity. The assessment portion is the quick write and the KWL, which they would all put on one piece of paper and turn into me at the end of the activity and I would then grade their understanding of the 
of the activity. And that is all I have. Thank you very much.